Hi, John. Today, Thursday, 11th of uh, August 2016, I've just set up the uh, company's office for the new My Powerhouse Group Limited Company in London and um, just putting together the share um, register and the articles of association to go online. I'll just read it out to you in a minute. But uh, I had a bit of trouble re-registering the company from 2012, so everything's been sitting dormant for four years uh, since everything was working. The tag pay and the Presta shop and um, Blue Snap and Bullion Vault. So I'm going to hook all those back up again, if, again, if I can remember. But um, I've had to alter the Articles of Association. I put the website there, uh, the mypowerhouse.com website, on the page where it'll go automatically to it, where you can read the rules of the association uh, if, if you want to, before uh, buying a share. Now, I, it's simply this, anyone who is joining as a member for the first time, you can um, fill out the application on the front of the main uh, page of the website and that gives you a £25 share stake in the company in the 250 countries. So what we are in fact doing is um, registering 25 billion, 250 billion, sorry, 250 billion shares in the company's office in London. And out of those 250 billion shares, the single one pound shares, uh, equivalent to the uh, British sterling, one pound note, uh, that we are comparing or we're going to gauge our progress against the Moai Pound Note. So our Moai Pound Note is our currency on a par with the British Pound Note value at the present time until our products match up or better up the value from that uh, on our hydrogen uh, fuel from the Moai Tidal Turbine um, platform bridges in the ocean, the middle of the oceans, that we're starting off at um, Bradfully Bank off Port Awanui, East Cape, New Zealand. It's about 30, 40 miles off the mainland. And, um, and Margate is off the mainland at the Thames Mouth uh, River uh, up in uh, the north end of um, where Dover is uh, at Margate in the estuary on the tip of the coastline there that's within the boundary of Queen Victoria's estate lands from Margate all the way back to Westminster all that territory there is what we're working in under this King William flag of her uncle Queen Victoria's uncle. I'm working in with King Itauru. He's a descendant of King Edward, which comes under Queen Victoria of the flag of King William, her uncle. So that's how we're piecing this title together, straight into British, UK government and Westminster Navy, British Navy and military apartheid. Kingy being military, army, is that piece of the puzzle here on the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, straight there with that authority over the seabeds, titles, native titles, so that we can get onto this project straight away. So with that 250 billion shares I'll be registering, I know it sounds a lot, but that's the way we're going to do it to split them off into all those 250 countries, 1 billion shares each. 
and you can go into any of those countries with a free share in each one of them and that's allowable as far as we're concerned to give you a stake in that country's turnover with the bound note. The bound note will be standard all the way through, same rights and privileges of this company as being one cooperative in London, in that registry's office, um, with a free passage through the world under this flag of jurisdiction of Admiralty, law of the sea. So we have the direct laws from here, in this office in Oahu, straight to Britain, UK, government, to administer King William's Acts of Westminster Parliament, 1832, 1837. We are doing that right now, once we register this company. It's part owned by British Navy, military, and the British government. This Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Company is in partnership with them and the Moai Native Hapu and King William IV partnership deal, contract, private. Okay, so that wraps that up. And I've just seen Jamie pull up and have a look at the share site I've just put on Facebook. And I'll just read it to you so you have an idea, a little idea of how this goes together. It took me a few years to put these together and all the banking and currencies and the values of all those currencies matched up against the Moai water money and Moai power note. So the power note is our main source of currency, electronic, online, straight off the market. Okay, so here's it goes like this. On that website I've got the um, article, A Guide to Company Shares First Formations Blog. That's the British London um, um, website. Company shares are portions of ownership in a company. Each share represents a percentage of the company and these shares are owned by the shareholders. Okay, so you have equal rights right to the well and a stake in what we recover in debt using the debt levy debtor pound note. That's one um, product, levy debtor instruments. The pound note itself is another instrument. The trillion pound note instrument is another product that we sell to the banks, one bank at a time. And um, another one is the jet fuel hydrogen jet fuel and hydrogen rocket fuel. Those are two more products. And the water itself, fresh water made from seawater, products of the tidal energy turbine bridge. Okay? Now there are other products as well, other gases and, and things. But I'll read it anyway. It goes like this. I am setting up the Moai one pound shares once again for England countries separated from Britain, UK as being the first of 250 countries flag shares with the Moai, Crown, King William IV, Flag, Waitangi, Marae and Port Awanui points of reference to Aotea, New Zealand Pacific Islands in total. There are 250 billion one pound Moai shares set up in the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Company, London, UK with one billion one pound Moai shares, then Scotland, then Ireland, then Wales, and then Aotea New Zealand. The first lot of 1 billion free 25 pound shares, uh, 25 single 1 pound shares, will be released as share certificates all over the world as soon as the company is registered tomorrow, Friday, 12th of August 2016. You can follow this on our website, on this page uh, of Articles of Association has to now been altered from New Zealand to London UK Articles of Association and Share Company Laws. Your host will be Sue Young, Office, office Administrator, Dover, England, and Jackie 
Littler Gordon, Office Administrator in Scotland, and Moira Hoffman, Office Administrator in Rotorua, New Zealand, on this com company's register, share registers. So she'll be looking after all those shares and picking up all your applications here in Rotorua, New Zealand. They have plenty. Um, we will seek office administrators in other countries who must be fully paid up members in this share company, my title energy business project, which is a minimum of £25 worth of free £1 shares to qualify as a shareholder. Thank you. Founder. That's me. Okay, so that's how we're going to operate as a start point in releasing the first lot of shares. I'm going to let the share register company office know our intentions. I know it sounds like a lot of shares, but they normally have 100 shares, but we're splitting them off like that because there'll be lots of people and our targets are quite high uh, in its calculations. When you look at um, what we're doing here as cooperative company, Breakthrough Wealth. Okay, this flag allows us the commercial status of operating in the sea right around the world. It's the only king flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law to protect our business from any threats. It's a patent right to everything that's Maui statute and King William statue, memorials of his titles to all the laws and acts we use will be the protectorate British military government and other countries who have their flags on that website, main website, mypowerhouse.com is in partnership with this flag, with their flag, on their country and their members of their countries that are joining this way. That means those people get the same rights as this flag and the British flag right through the well, straight off as soon as I release these shares. Okay, that's from our authority coming from Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court in the Bay of Islands. Northland, New Zealand. Chiefs Kingi Taurua and his Napui Chiefs contract with the flag has allowed us the authority and the jurisdiction Constitution 1835 of the Chiefs of that time, 182 years ago, when they've been given this flag by the King of England, King of Britain, UK for our trade, and pound note, and gold coins of King William IV, and our right to sail the seas anywhere in the world, free passage, and the protection of the British military and navy in cases of war and threats to our business relationship between here and Britain. The flag will take us from there around the world. Okay. So that's England first, Scotland second, Ireland third, Wales fourth, New Zealand fifth, and the rest of the world. More likely to be Russia, China, Africa, India, in around about that order and then other countries, including the Pacific Islands. There's 60 of the tidal energy bridges going through the Pacific Islands, including Tonga, Samoa, Rarotonga, Hawaii, Tahiti, East Island, uh, Niue, um, Kiribati, um, Australia, Papua New Guinea, uh, and Auckland Islands, and others around the Pacific. 
Okay, so that gives you a little bit of overview of my day to day, apart from speaking to Jean in America. Uh, we haven't got time to listen to other projects that are, will come in the time for Indigenous people and um, projects that will stem from this. Our main focus is the power note, the water currency money, tidal turbine bridges, cooperative shares, development of natural resources with people, I mean all people, and also trade in developing nations under the King William IV, King William III, King George III, King George IV, King Ernest Augustus I, King Ernest Augustus V, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, alive in London, legacy, and inheritance to this business. So I'm really trying to say is we have a king, Ernest Augustus, living in London at about 68 years old, or about the same year as me, uh, 67, uh, 67, and his son, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus, an inheritor of this flag of Admiralty, Court Martial Law Jurisdiction, Bank Notes, Mortgages, Lands, Instruments of the High Court of Admiralty in London and our High Court of Admiralty here on the Waitangi Marae, Bay of Islands, the ship of Admiralty, the only ship in the world on dry land with this flag flying on it and the British flag and the Union Jack flag here in New Zealand will be on the second run and this one will be up the top on the 28th of October 2016 exactly 182 years of continuity of sovereignty to a King of England ok that's what I want to tell you people around the world watching the King is safe creditor and no debts, absolutely debt free. There's no such word as debt in this system of cooperative. There's only credit and um, unity of trade and development of trade straight one to one to the other on equal terms. Same value, found out right through the world. Okay, it won't go up or down, up and down, up and down, like whoa, whoa. It'll stay steady as a king ship of Admiralty. Okay? So that's really what I'm saying. Is that um, welcome to our well here in the east, sunrise, and with south up and north down on the globe. That's fixed. To this way at the present time if it spins up the other way and goes north up it's because some mischief people in the west in Europe and Britain have been playing around with the earth to make them go closer to the Sun when we are at the present time today I'm making this statement to you that the earth as I've drawn, drawn it is south up in the sun closest here, pointing that way, why we're so hot here, and across Africa, and south here, and we're here, and England's down here at the bottom. Okay? That's the way it is. And it's turning clockwise. That way. That way, see? Put your thumb down, turn your fingers, your right hand, and that's just pointing north. Okay, you put your thumb up that way, and it goes around the other way, right? So that's that's really the rotation is that way. Uh, so 
that's all I want to say on this video for now. It's just the shares. Um, getting those articles of association sorted. Uh, and we have the parent company here in registered in New Zealand, Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited, with one of a trillion shares. So we've got heaps more shares to spin out when those ones run out. So we're hoping that you will buy shares or take a hold of the new ones, uh, the free ones. That's a billion shares at one pound each going up for grabs. So grab those yourself. You're allowed 25 shares free in each of those countries, 250 countries. So that's 1 billion shares in each country of 1 billion shares, sorry, in London going off for starters. Okay, 1 billion shares going off from London first up. We'll have an anniversary for the next billion to go off in the next country that's set up. But the first one we're promoting is England. Okay, Britain, UK, our legal lawful, legitimate part-name business. So we are talking kings, corporations and trusts. The Pope has destroyed the Queen and the Pope's corporations and trusts. You'll see more to propria on the last video I just did today explaining that trust in the courts that has nothing to do with the king's bench court. Debtor, creditor. Levy, debtor, bill, charge. Levy, creditor, king's bench court. Levy, debtor, queen's bench court. Queen Elizabeth II, bench court. Okay, you get that? And Levy, creditor, King's Bench Court and this flag and its own acts of Westminster Parliament here, right here, not over there, here. We apply these laws to that company, My Powerhouse Group Limited. We apply the New Zealand, Aotea New Zealand Acts of Westminster Parliament. That means stringent law of Hanging Chains Act and every other act of any threats against our business. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye for now.